five insult on top of injury. A woman says visiting the grave of her infant daughter who died at birth has always been painful. But Diana Valdez says that this grief, her grief this year was compounded by what she saw there. Trash, high weeds, and broken monuments. And Paul Venema visited the grave for a first-hand look. Under this pile of weeds and trash is the grave of little Esmeralda Rodriguez, Diana Valdez's infant daughter, who died at birth. This would have been her 21st birthday, and Valdez arrived to bring balloons and flowers, but could not even find the grave. I know she's right here. I didn't think about the rubble. I was thinking right here, and I was like, where is she? Where is she? I was go digging, and she's right here. Valdez said her daughter was buried with the body of a relative's child who died earlier. She questioned them but could find no information concerning the management of this private cemetery. We looked around for a number on the fence to see who we can call. Valdez told me the last time she visited the gravesite was a year ago. She said at that time it was slightly overgrown, but nothing like this. So I would just get on my knees and clean the, you know, the brush around and make it look pretty. And that, apparently, is her only option since this is a private cemetery with no perpetual care provisions. There's no such uh, workforce that take, takes care of them. As, uh, unlike the metropolis areas in San Antonio that we have, it's a private cemetery, so it would fall onto the, the families themselves. A grim reality with which Valdez now must deal. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.